Mini chainsaws range in price from about $60 to $80, whereas 12 inch battery operated chainsaws are around $120 to $200. So in this video, I'm going to try to find out if the cheaper price of a mini chainsaw is actually worth getting, or should you just spend the extra $60 to $150 to get a larger chainsaw? To compare, I own at least four different battery operated chainsaws and they all have different lengths and prices. The mini chainsaw that I am using to test is the Mencella 8 inch cordless chainsaw. It was sent to me from the website banggood.com. One nice thing about this mini chainsaw is that it does come with its own carrying case. Most of the bigger electric chainsaws do not. This also comes with safety glasses, a universal plug adapter, and the chainsaw comes pre-assembled so you really don't need to do anything at all. It comes with a battery and charger as well. Before using the chainsaw you'll want to make sure that you put chain oil in it. It does not come with a funnel which is kind of annoying because the opening was so small. So I was lazy and didn't go out and buy a funnel and I kind of made a mess. The first time I went to cut using this it was really struggling and it turns out that the chain was installed in the wrong direction. It wasn't too difficult to take apart and change the direction of the chain. So it cuts like a normal chainsaw. It is super lightweight, so you can use it one-handed. Uh, you, you kind of have to, actually, because there's just the single handle. It works well for smaller branches and kind of some of those harder-to-get spots. One really nice thing is that the chain has literally never fallen off for me. This is probably due to the advantage of it being a smaller size. Here is what I don't like about this chainsaw. So for one, it leaked quite a bit of oil, more than the other chainsaws I have used. Another thing I didn't really like is the small size was kind of weird. I'm used to using a larger chainsaw, so there were definitely times where I wanted to grab it with two hands to get extra support, and there's nothing really to grab onto. So is there any reason to get a mini chainsaw instead of just paying some extra money and getting another chainsaw. I think the main advantage that I see with a chainsaw that is this size is for shrubs and smaller branches and hard to get spaces. It's also nice for some, some of those really tough angles. If you already have an electric chainsaw, just stick with what you've got. If you don't have a chainsaw but you have small trees and shrubs, yeah, I think this is a good thing that you could get. If you do have larger trees though, I would just consider getting a full size chainsaw. I have a link posted below of the price for this chainsaw. Again, this is from banggood.com. If you've not heard of Banggood, go check it out. It's actually a great website to buy tech or electronics. I like it because they always have some really great flash deals. So let me know if you have any questions about the chainsaw below. Thanks.